but has become the sole national interest. And these corporatists and militarists are the enemy of all socialists. They bankrolled and promoted movements in the early 20th century that called for reforms within the structures of capitalism. They spoke that these movements that spoke in the language of, quote, the politics of productivism, that eschewed the language of class conflict and talked only about economic growth and a partnership with the capitalist class. The NAACP, for example, was formed to lure African Americans away from the Communist Party, the only radical organization that in the early 20th century did not discriminate. The AFL-CIO was fed CIA money to help crush and supplant radical unions abroad and at home. The AFL-CIO, like the NAACP, is today a victim of its own corruption and bureaucratic senility. Its bloated leadership pulls down huge salaries as its dwindling rank and file is stripped of benefits and protections. And the capitalists no longer need what they once called responsible unionism, which meant pliable unionism. And once the capitalists and the militarists killed off the radical movements and unions, they finished off the dupes who had helped them do it. And that is why less than 12% of our country's workforce is unionized. It is why we have such vast income disparities and chronic unemployment and underemployment. 